Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the newest build on the channel. This time we are going to be building an electric underwater submarine that's powered by a diesel engine also. Um, if you want to see more, I'm going to keep posting the videos. We're going to keep doing the voiceovers as well. So if you do like what you see, please uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe down in the uh, description. Um, I will eventually be posting these builds to the workshop. If you guys do have any questions along the way, I'd be happy to explain anything. I will be kind of going over the more technical parts in detail. Um, in this video, we're really kind of just shaping out the hull, so you'll get to see the basic shape of the creation, as well as uh, I've added some clips at the end, kind of showing me or showing off a more uh, finished product, as you will. Um, so I'll be driving that around uh, the last couple minutes of the video if you want to see um, kind of what more of the finished product will look like. And um, we'll uh, just kind of get right into the building.
So I kind of wanted to do, just jut in and kind of give a background for this submarine. Um, I've always had a submarine that I was attempting to build that kind of never really worked out for me. It's kind of always was one of those back burner projects. Um, it was always a little too small and I couldn't balance it quite right. So I took a lot of the design elements from that submarine, which I really liked how it looked. Um, and I applied it to some other photos that I found online and uh, I'll actually put one of those on the uh, screen right now so you guys can kind of see where I got a lot of the uh, inspiration for this ship from. So as you can see, um, you know, I kind of got this deck in the middle going and you know, I thought I saw that and I thought it was really cool. The idea with that is that, you know, this is an exploration sub. It's not really needed to be stealthy or anything. So there might as well be some deck space for the people who are using it to uh, kind of enjoy and use, you know. So, um, you know, I got this kind of decent sized deck space. You'll notice it's not really a massive submarine, but I have a decent sized deck and it's kind of going to taper back at the end here into the power unit. And uh, back there, I'm going to have a modular engine that is sitting in the water that is going to power the whole ship and power the electrical system and we're going to get really technical into that in the next couple of episodes so if you want to see more of that i'll definitely kind of explain what i'm going and uh, what i do it's pretty complicated how it all works but um, you'll see i end up with a diesel engine that can operate under the water up to you know depths of past 250 meters um, so the you know, like I said, the overall idea for the sub is really for exploration. It's not really big on purpose. It's supposed to be small. It's supposed to be able to, you know, kind of maneuver easily and, uh, you know, kind of be more comfortable, as you would say. Thank you. 
But yeah, guys, I, uh, I think that just about wraps it up in the first episode. So uh, we got the uh, basic hull done, and you guys got to see kind of what the, the final shape of the submarine should be. Um, you know, you can see I'm operating a more finished product right now, and, uh, you know, you can kind of see what we're going for. It, this is still very, very early. Um, you know, this is nowhere near being done, but kind of just gives you guys an idea. And, uh, but yeah, if you, you know, you have any suggestions or comments, please, uh, I, I'm always open to hearing them. And if you, uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And that, uh, lets me know to, uh, keep, keep making these, uh, creations and videos for you guys. All right. Well, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and we will see you in the next one.